Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the gold money ace in rapid tournament game between Magnus Carlsen and Ding Liren, they both sacrificed their rooks but you will watch what will happen in the game, so connect your headphones and this is your today's puzzle, 100 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so let's go, Ding started with d4 you have knight f6 c4 and e6, in this position you can play popular East Indian or Nimtso Indian defense. But Ding chooses to play Catalan opening so d5 by black bishop g2, using the bishop on this diagonal, it looks like white gives a pawn, let me show you the variation then play normally, a6 preparing for b5 and white have some obvious threats with the queen or queen c2, we will see castle and if you play b5 anxiously then knight e5 will come, this targets to the rook so knight to d5, a4 white gives a pawn to damage black's structure, after takes knight here c6. Black will try to hold the position but it will not compensation anything, you may think, center structure is well, where is the weakness, here is the weakness fool, e4, if you are a human and playing bullet then you will take the pawn, then bishop takes rook here, queen will arrive on there, put your dark square bishop in a right diagonal, the position will be dead lost for black, in the long run you can double up your rooks on a file to pressure black. So in this position if you play bishop b7 to neutralize the structure then queen takes check will come knight blocks e takes d5, no matter how will you capture the pawn you will lose the game, if bishop takes happen then takes takes knight c6 to target it, queen c7, rook e1 check and that's it, you are gonna lose your bishop with the knight, I mean the game will be over for you, so, in this position if you take it with the pawn then bishop h3 will come to destroy you with 1 2 3 pieces. So bishop c8 then rook e1 will come threatening to play knight c6 knight with a queen threat, so bishop blocks knight c6 by white and you are gonna lose material, light up candle, back to the position, Magnus knows it because he is a stockfish subscriber, and we have some standard opening moves queen c2 a6 a4, preventing b5 bishop d7 queen takes and bishop c6, black is threatening to play b5 and bishop here, Ding played bishop g5 h6 bishop takes takes. I don't know why Ding just gives Magnus Carlsen bishop pair, bishop pair is dangerous for an open game, it's like criss cross apple sos, rook here bishop d5 queen c2, threatening e4 and after two moves later you shouldn't play e5 because the bishop will get a another way to disturb you, the light squares will open and the king position will be bad so it's better to hold the structure rather than opening up diagonals for opponent bishop. Knight here h4 knight before queen e2 g6 rook d2 and he wants to double up his rooks to play d5 so queen e7 rook e1, now Ding's plan is to play queen here then d5 to open the file in front of the rook and queen. Do you know the tactic, to attack the queen and bishop with the discover attack, so rook d8 queen d1, this is coming so bishop g7 h5, you shouldn't take the pawn, let me show you the variation what will happen if you take it, then bishop h3 d6 d5 to break the position, and there is a savage tactic with the pawn and rook, bishop escapes rook to e3 pawn takes d5 pawn takes queen d6, then killer move knight h4, queen takes h5 is coming and the knight is a very tactical piece on there. So knight takes d5 rook takes bishop takes then knight f5 queen here takes takes queen takes d5, sacrificing the queen, guys, have you ever sacrificed your queen? Tell me in the comments, I will love to read your comments, white will be completely winning so back to the position, we have g5 d5, pawn cannot take it, so bishop p7 by Magnus, knight d4 and bishop takes knight, but it's not the best move, best was to play rook e8 because after rook takes d4, the king's side is weak, the king may face problems in the long run with the tactical knight if black plays any mistake move, so e5 to close the structure, rook back to d1 g4 knight b5. You cannot take the knight because of this, so queen g5 rook up to e3, bishop is coming on this diagonal and he is threatening to take the pawn, so rook c7, rook c3 adding pressure to this pawn but Magnus ignores it and played queen takes h5, best was to play rook d8, let me show you the variation, if rook d8 happen then if take the pawn, bishop takes a4 will come, if you take the bishop then you will lose the rook on d2 and the game will be in black's favor, but in our actual game. Magnus played queen takes h5 instead of rook d8, because after knight takes c7, 
bishop takes a5 is not possible anymore because the queen can easily take the bishop, black's queen is not on the g5 square anymore to target the rook which is why queen g5 was important, so queen g5 b3 h5 d6, the pawn is getting closer to his destiny and chess friends, if you want to reach in your destiny, to become a grandmaster then you can subscribe to my youtube channel, you will learn a lot from my videos. And we have some casual moves, it is more likely to some developing moves, knight e8, sacking the knight but you can't take it because of d7 move, so king f8, d7 and we have rook up to d6 move to take the knight, Magnus played knight c4 and we have rook takes d4, sacrificing the rook because after pawn takes takes, Ding is threatening to play knight here then queen check on d6, so Magnus goes for a brilliant level, he sacrificed his rook, takes takes and takes we have another rook exchanges on the c8 square. And this game turned out into queen versus queen where white king is totally secured, Magnus could play a queen check to get an extra move but he tries to open the position which is useless actually, it will not bring any advantages for black, white have a passed pawn, just give some useful checks to push forward your pawn, black king is exposed, and after some more moves. Later, Magnus tries to catch the king but Ding is in time, brings his queen, and we have some queens and king dance, check here check here check here, and that's it, Magnus Carlsen resigned the game, don't think Ding is stronger than Magnus, Magnus had black pieces, anyway wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.